All right. What up, YouTube? It's uh, been a little bit. Uh, just want to give you kind of an update of what's going on with the channel and stuff. The other video was the last drift day of the season for me. So videos are going to kind of taper off a little bit unless I can think of something, you know, video to make. I'm not a, I'm not a big YouTuber, you know, so I'm just trying to do what I can. What I've been up to recently is just uh, kind of cleaning up here. Uh, it's long overdue. So I have been cleaning up in the garage. It doesn't really, probably doesn't look like it to you guys. But basically, already like I've swept every square inch of the garage up till that corner which is really, really cool. A lot of this stuff, guys, isn't, you know, my stuff. This is my dad's old stuff. So it has taken me so long to get to doing this. Every, anytime I'd look at it, it would just, I'd get demotivated and, you know, get in my head and stuff, but it's finally getting done. So it is, it's a lot of, it's a lot of crap to sort through. This is all the stuff that I want to keep. Oh boy, I filled up so many bags. Um, cardboard pile, there's some random wood stuff. There's a lot. Okay, now this isn't all from the garage. I just also cleaned up my attic as well. You know, right now it's gotta look worse to look better, but it's definitely already looking better to me. Just being able to clearly walk through the garage back to this corner is kind of a big deal. Still gotta go through this whole wall here, but I've gone through the other half of the garage. So I've been kind of staying busy with this stuff, been organizing shit. Can finally use that workbench, it's clean enough to use. Um, been messing with the welder, so that's been definitely a lot of fun just one random one random thing that i made was an adjustable chain wrench and you can use this to take off oil filters shit like that but yeah so that's been kind of fun um it's definitely gotten me off my ass and like wanting to do stuff so i'm gonna be getting into welding a little bit further uh kind of want to be able to do stuff on the car eventually. So I'm just kind of doing little stuff like, like the adjustable wrench. It's just crap like that. Currently the welder that I'm using, this one right here, this is a Lincoln Electric Handy MIG. So it, right now it does MIG with gas or it can do flux core, which is currently what I'm using. So I'm trying to basically, I, I bought the spool. I'm trying to go through the whole spool, uh, learn on that. And then eventually I will be getting into um, MIG welding. So I can, you know, practice on that and learn techniques for, for that type of welding. Uh, flux core is not really all, it's not bad, um, but a lot of people do not like it. So. I don't know um, if this is even going to become a video at all, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on what the hell I've been up to. I just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys about the uh, last drift day and about the videos, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna be slowing down a little bit. I'm trying to get myself together and uh, it's, it's happening, so. <laughs> But yeah, uh, garage is getting cleaned up. Tire changers put away for the season. So, on to winter time. Second day cleaning this garage. I've cleaned up all the way to my workbench, which is like my active work area. So now I'm gonna work my way from here up to the workbench and get rid of a whole lot of shit that has been just sitting here. It is winter time now. It is like 35 degrees outside. It's pretty cold. So I've been trying to mess with these waste oil burners to get rid of some of the oil 
that I have back there, but also maybe a good way to heat up the garage once I figure out a good way to keep this thing from uh, smoking too much, too much black smoke. Also need to like put a casing on the outside of it so there's no gases getting off put from the bottom of this and it's all coming out of the top. So I might try and do that. I don't know if you guys want to see some videos on this thing. Let me know. It's been a pleasure to, to build it and it's really very useful. There's so many, so many fluids in this garage I have to get rid of, so. That's coming in clutch. And it's burning really cleanly too, so I don't know if you guys can see, but that's burning really clean. All right, so getting a little farther along. Got through the farthest left shelf here. So everything that is on this is something that I've put on here. So that is really nice. And now I just gotta keep working through this way. Got an old motor, I'm gonna probably reuse that for go-kart or something in the future. I actually have two Predator 212 engines as well that I would like to use. But yeah, just gotta get through all this stuff and I'm basically right up to my workbench, which I just organized the top of a couple weeks ago. And then I gotta go through everything in there. Right the, here is all the scrap metal that I've been collecting. This is just a bin of tools that I need to sort through. There's a lot in there. But yeah, right now I'm all the way um, through the garage. It doesn't look like it. it's gonna you know, get worse before it gets better, but it is definitely way better than it was. But very, very excited to get this done. It's been a long time coming. It's going to be freaking awesome once I'm done. I'm just filled up another bag and got this whole shelf clean. I don't know if this is even going to be a video, but I'm pumped about it and I figure it might be good to show you guys because, you know, this is where I film. If things look suddenly different, you know, and I didn't cover it, I'd feel kind of silly about it, but I am super pumped. going to probably move this outside do some sweeping, sort through all this crap. All right, so it is the next day again. Got through this whole side here of the garage, so it is completely clean, that's cool. I ended up getting all of the shelves, like I took everything off of them, swept them off. So right now, the only part of the garage that I haven't touched, actually two parts, the only part would be this whole workbench uh, here. It's got a bunch of tools, fasteners, stuff. Uh, I gotta figure out how to organize all that. And then the center section here that's always been here, just extra coolant and extra bolts for the Z. Do have to throw that stuff away, the cool stuff, but everything else I can keep. And uh, I just need to find a good spot for it. But yeah, freaking super pumped. Everything is coming together, slowly but surely. I did get that shelving unit under at the back of the garage, so I do still need to get through everything and organize everything. For the most part, we have cleaned the garage. I mean, I'm, I'm working on my sixth <laughs> contractor bag right now of, of stuff. Well, it is beginning to look like a garage, dude. This is so cool. So I've got all of my woodworking stuff in one area. I've moved the shelves that were over there to the backside. I got random, not actually random, pretty organized uh, WD lineup. Got a PV lineup here. Some engine degreaser and stuff like that. To the right of that, this is all garden hose, for the most part, garden hose accessories. Gotta figure out where I want my scrap metal bin to be. And uh, right now I've got pretty much everything organized down here. There's a lot of antifreeze and uh, Rain-X uh, left over. Got some mini propane things, uh, camping fuel, 
denatured alcohol, propane. It's just really nice to have everything compartmentalized, like all the car cleaning stuff's right there. All of my oils that I will be using are right here. And then like most of the tools that I've like never used are right there. These are a little bit more commonly used. And then I still need to organize that bin that's full of just stuff. But man, dude, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know, man. This is a, it's a long time coming and it's really nice to, you know, make it my own finally. Uh, yeah, I've also got uh, all my paint up on the top shelf here now. Everything that I've got is uh, good to go. That's old undercoat that my dad had. I got that next to my Plasti Dip. And then I've got a whole row of gloss white and then I'm gonna have a whole row of black eventually. I'm gonna have some lanolin wax stuff here, primers and then colors over here. I've been busting ass, but it's, you know, it's coming together. So it's really cool to see it. So I'm very, very excited. Still got a lot to do as far as organizing and whatnot. I'm trying to put most of the stuff that I don't use on the bottom racks so that I, I can get to stuff easy. But it is slowly coming together. This is all stuff that I need to get rid of. Z is extremely dusty right now after cleaning up. It's pretty, pretty barn findy. So um, I got to fill it up with gas and I got to put some fuel stabilizer in it uh, for the winter time. So I might, you know, take it for a drive every once in a while, but we are focusing on the house and it's good. Well, I think uh, I'm just going to end the video right there. If um, you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I just want to put this together to, you know, uh, I don't know, have something out there. I uh, didn't really want the garage to just suddenly be different. So not much, not like the best video, I'm sure, but you know, it's something. So just want to put it out there. It's been a while since I've uploaded. So, um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.